How would you react? Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. How would you react? In John 4, from verse 43 on, a government official was seeking the help of Jesus. He wanted him to heal his son. So he was expecting to ask Jesus that Jesus would come to his house to heal the child. Verse 49, Sir, said the official, come with me before my child dies. Jesus said to him, go, your son will live. How would you have reacted? How would you react if Jesus, if you ask something from God and you get a word like that, go, not some comfort, not anybody going with you, not any details, only you will live or what you need will be fulfilled. How we react is essential. The man believed Jesus' words and went. On his way home, his servants met him with the news, your boy is going to live. He got well. That is the nature of belief. We already see eternal things. We already see what will be in future as if it is now. All the future benefits, the true faith in the Lord already knows what will happen in future, in eternity and in this life. And we can act as if it is already here and now present. And if we know that it is a true word of God, then we don't need to doubt anything, not, a sli not the slightest doubt. There is reason, because the reason is that God's word is almighty. He is almighty. He can do anything. He is the creator of the world. And therefore, if we live in faith, we look in detail into the word. And if we find that the word is from God, then we can believe anything. We already know it will be in future and react same as if it is already there now. We don't need to be frightened. But if we find out that what people speak is not from God, is their own ideas or even from evil spirits, then we do not need to listen to it. We don't need to be distracted. We don't need to be deceived. We don't need to naively believe anything. The question is, is the word of God there? If the word is from God, we can believe it. Lord, we thank you for your word and we thank you for your healing power. We praise you. You are almighty. You have healed the government official son by that time. And you can heal all of us, our mind and our bodies. We pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we can distinguish which words are from you, what we can believe and take for granted. Help us to trust in your word alone and not be distracted, not be deceived, not naively believe things that other people speak or that even evil spirits try to overcome us. We praise you forever. Amen.